Welcome to Scam Baiting Emails. As you'll see, this will be our shortest video so far. This particular exchange results in Boris Johnson being forced to resign in disgrace. If you're a big Boris Johnson fan, please don't get upset with me. After all, he started it with an email from, of all people, FedEx. The subject of the email is urgent reply. And like most urgent emails, it is addressed to undisclosed recipients. Letter from Minister Boris Johnson, Government of United Kingdom, 10 Downing Street, London, United Kingdom. Re-inheritance payment approval. I am Mr. Boris Johnson, United Kingdom Minister. I want to inform you that sequel to our Board of Presidential and Ministers meeting recently, which your file was reviewed, that you have not received your inheritance payment from the United Kingdom government as your email address was one of the luckiest beneficiary to receive this inheritance payment, which has been going on March 2, 2021. If you are interested in receiving your inheritance payment from the United Kingdom, get back to me immediately with your full name, resident address, direct telephone contact, for more information, approval, and release of your inheritance payment to you. Kind regards, United Kingdom Prime Minister Boris. Just Boris. That all certainly sounds interesting, but I fear our political differences might prevent our working together for my financial benefit. I think it's only fair to advise him of that potential roadblock, so I do. Dear Mr. Johnson, Firstly, I think it's only fair to advise you that I am diametrically opposed to your politics. As you know, you are a leading representative of the Conservative Party while for my entire life I have been a staunch Labour Party supporter. I don't know if that matters to you, but I think it's only fair to tell you. Don't even get me started about Brexit. If, however, we can put aside our political differences and come together, I think it would set a wonderful example for the rest of the world. What inheritance are you referring to? I haven't heard anything about a relative in the United Kingdom passing over to the netherworld. From whom am I inheriting a payment from? I checked with my uncle, my late mother's brother, and he said that as far as he knows, the only member of our family who lives in the United Kingdom is an ornithologist living in Hull named Benny Hill. But I have never met him and, in fact, hadn't even heard his name until I asked my uncle about it. Is it from Benny Hill's estate that I have inherited a payment? If not, please elucide me regarding the identity of my generous but heretofore unknown relative. In sincerity, Rob, or as my friends call me, Rob McClint. P.S. I almost forgot. How much money is in the inheritance? I don't wish to sound greedy, but it seems to me that the bigger the inheritance, the better for me. Much to my surprise, Boris never responds to my well-written, cogent, and thoughtful reply. I wait a while to see if it's just a matter of the email running especially slowly, but nothing. If you're like me, then you know I don't take kindly to having someone ignore my email, especially if it's well-written, cogent, and thoughtful. Finally, I ring up an old friend of my mother. I'm not at liberty to identify this person due to the non-disclosure agreement I signed. She lives at Buckingham Palace. That's all I'm at liberty to say. I'm not saying I single-handedly caused Boris to be forced to quit his job. If you ask me, Rob, did you single-handedly cause Boris to be forced to quit his job? I'll simply say, no comment. But, yeah, I did. Once the newspapers got hold of the story, Boris's professional demise was inevitable. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel so you'll know whenever I've added a new scam baiting email video. Oh, although this channel is devoted to scam baiting email, I do have one audio recording in which I keep a fax spammer, for those of you who remember faxes, on the phone for as long as possible. Each time he's brought to the brink of ending the call, I drop a crumb or two that makes him think, wait, I think this guy is going to buy after all. 
Most of the recording displays his increasing frustration with me, but one really funny moment occurs when he explains to me, well, it's a little difficult to describe here, but if you're like me, then you'll probably think it's funny too. Please let me know in the comments area whether you'd like to hear the recording for yourself or if you'd rather that we stick strictly to scam baiting emails. Speaking of comments, if you'll be kind enough to comment below on your reactions to this video, I promise to make sure Rob sees it. It's been an honor to share this brief scam baiting adventure with you. In sincerity and on behalf of Rob, Rob McClent.